Today we're gonna to mount the lens on this vintage Magic Lantern projector on a mirrorless camera to create images like this. Hey everyone, Sean here with photodeox.com and today we're taking a look at this little guy. This is a vintage German Magic Lantern projector. Now I couldn't find an exact date on this, but I picked it up at an antique store a while ago. I think I spent like 20 bucks for it. And uh, basically it is a vintage projector designed to project slides onto a wall. In the back here, you've got a light bulb. Uh, which you can then plug in with a power cord. Then you've got the lens on the front, and then there's a slot right here where you would put a slide to project on a wall. I actually don't know much about this specific projector because all it says on the front is JF. On the bottom, it says made in Germany. Not sure if it was sold in Germany or in the States, but there you go, a little magic lantern projector. Uh, but we're not here to talk about vintage projectors. We're here to talk about using vintage projector lenses on mirrorless cameras. Uh, we're simply going to remove the front projector lens. And this is a very basic optic. It's actually only one optic in a long metal casing. Now, how do we adapt this lens to a digital camera? Well, it's actually pretty simple. All you need is a specific amount of space to go between the lens and your camera's sensor. And that's where our Photodeox Macro Bellows comes in. Uh, this is a bellows designed to put a Canon EF lens on the front, Canon EF camera on the back, and then as you turn this knob, you actually move the lens farther from the camera focusing it closer up to macro focus. And this is a great product for macro photography, but it's also a great product for adapting vintage lenses like this projector lens. I'm just gonna take our Photodeox C-mount to Canon EOS adapter and use this as kind of a shelf for the lens to sit on. And then we are going to use some handy black duct tape to tape it in the middle of the C-mount adapter. Okay, we've got the lens taped down to the adapter. Then we're just gonna mount the C to EOS adapter onto the EOS macro bellows, and there we go. Now we have a vintage projector lens that we can focus by turning this knob. Now at this point, we could mount this directly to a Canon EF mount camera, and that would be great, but I wanna actually mount this on my Sony A7 camera body. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna use a third adapter. This is our Canon EF to Sony E-mount ND throttle adapter. And what this adapter does is it has a built-in variable ND filter. So when you turn this ring, you're actually adjusting the VND filter built into the adapter. And the more you darken it, the less light it's allowing through, which is great if you're shooting with a wide open projector lens like this on your camera and you want to control exposure, especially for video. All right, so let's mount the adapter onto the macro bellows like that. We're just going to mount it on the Sony camera. And there we go. Now I have full focus control of this vintage projector lens, and I can turn this knob to focus the lens to infinity or super close up for macro shots. Here are some images I captured last summer with this setup, and as you can see, it's a very soft image, but a very beautiful image. This is a lo-fi vintage optic. It's got some age and some wear on it, but it is creating a really beautiful image. Because of the lo-fi nature of this lens, there is a bunch of chromatic aberration, and when you point it at sunlight, you get this beautiful flare. And because I can focus the lens with the macro bellows, I was able to do macro photography on flowers as well as landscape shots. Now, if I wanted to make sharper images with this setup, I could create aperture plates to put behind the lens. Basically just a piece of cardboard with a hole in it that would be emulating uh, what an aperture does in a lens. And I might do that in the future, uh, but I kind of like the dreaminess of this setup. Uh, shooting wide open with this lens without any aperture creates these soft, dreamy images that I love. Now, like I said, with the ND throttle adapter, uh, you can turn it to cut the amount of light coming through the lens. And this is great for shooting video. Here's some video I shot with this setup this winter, quite a whiplash from the summer photos. And as you can see, as I crank in, as I maximize the VND filter, I'm cutting the light coming through the lens and I'm able to shoot cinematic video with this crazy vintage lens.
Now I have done a similar project to this with a magnifying glass and click right here to check out that video. Today's video is brought to you by photodeox.com. We are a photo and video gear company. Uh, we carry lens adapters uh, like the ND throttle, uh, macro products like our macro bellows, uh, but we also carry LED lights, light modifiers like soft boxes and beauty dishes, as well as filters for ultra wide angle lenses. So whether you're looking for photography or filmmaking gear, we've got you covered at photodeox.com Deox.com and click the link below to learn more. Also, click the link in the description below to learn more about our ND throttle adapters and our macro bellows, and click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with photodeox.com and happy creative photography.